This is Karuna Kar. I am from Tripoli Department. Okay. Today I have to discuss the on power factor. So first of all, what is the power factor? What is the power factor? Power factor definition is the cosine of angle between voltage and current in an AC circuit is called power factor. That means this is the current. This is the voltage. The cosine of angle between voltage and current in an ac circuit is called power factor if power factor is low what are the disadvantages so generally power transmission formula is p equal to vi cos phi p equal to vi cos phi if power factor is low if power factor is low then what are the disadvantages disadvantages of power factor disadvantages of power factor so first disadvantage is large kva rating can be required large kva rating can be required means generally power factor formula is cos phi equal to kw by kva kw by kva so kva equal to kw by cos phi cos phi that means if the power factor is low KVA rating should be more. KVA rating should be more. Next, second disadvantage is large conductor size can be required. Large conductor can be size can be required. That means the, from this formula, P equal to VI cos phi, cos phi inversely proportional to one by I, one by I. That means I inversely proportional to cos phi. So if the if the cos phi is low, current value can be increases. So this current overcomes the rated rated current, then wire can be burn out. So that's why second disadvantage is large conductor size can be required. Next third one is large copper losses. Large copper losses. So large copper losses means. So if the low power factor occurs, current rating should be high. Current rating should be high. So automatically copper losses will be increases. If copper losses can be increases means efficiency can be decreases. So these are the three main disadvantages if the low power factor occurs. First disadvantage is large KVA rating can be required. Second disadvantage is large conductor size can be required. Third disadvantage is large copper losses can be required. So to overcome the, these disadvantages, we have to improve the power factor. We have to improve the power factor. So how to improve the power factor means, so by using the static capacitors, with the help of the static capacitors, we can improve the power factor. Once, once we can improve the power factor, we can improve the power transfer capability. So how to improve the power factor? First, for, by using the static capacitors. Static capacitors, we can improve the power factor. Power factor. So generally, practically, our loads are inductive nature loads. So inductive nature load, loads means our two blades and fans and so on are the inductive nature loads. So in this situation, because of the inductive nature load, current is lag behind the voltage by an angle pi. So because of the inductive nature loads, so current is lag behind the voltage by an angle pi. So in this situation, cos pi has some angle, some angle, some angle. So that means pi, pi means 30 degrees, 30 degrees. So we have to improve the pi value. We have to improve the pi value, pi value. So how to, how to improve the power pi value means, so this is the voltage vector V, this is the current vector I. So voltage means voltage across the load. So this is the load, voltage across the load is V. So it can be represented by a phase of V. And this load draws the current I. This load draws the current I. So this current is lag behind the voltage I, current I by an angle pi. So this should be angle, let us assume, cos pi equal to 30 degrees. So cos 30 means, 30 means 0.5. 30 means, sorry, 0 0.866, 0 0.866, so if, so if by adding the capacitor, 
if by adding the capacitor in parallel to the in, pa in, in parallel to the load so capacitive nature is leading nature capacitive current nature is leading nature so that's why i am drawing current is leading current is leading so inductor current is lagging in nature capacitive current is leading in nature leading nature so this current this current will compensate the this current this leading current will compensate the lagging current then required then required vector is becomes this one so resultant vector i am writing here i am writing here i am writing here so angle becomes new angle so pi 1 pi 1 so final conclusion is here so this leading current compensate the lagging current so angle can be decreases so initially initially angle is suppose initially pi, pi angle is 60 degrees 60 degrees then cos 60 then cos then cos 60 then cos 60 value is point point so cos 60 value is 0 0.5 0 0.5 now the angle can be decreases initial angle is 60 degrees now the angle can be decreases pi 1 value is 30 degrees so cos 30 degrees value is root 3 by 2 that means 0 0.866 so that means by using the capacitor by using the capacitor so we can decrease the angle we can decrease the angle automatically power factor can be increases so by using the capacitor by using the capacitor so pi value can be decreases cos pi value can be increases so in this way we have to improve the power factor in this way we have to improve the power factor so other methods also present by improving the power factor they are the Start, they are the uh, synchronous say, synchronous condenser method synchronous condenser method third one phase advancers phase advancers so synchronous condenser so synchronous condenser is nothing but a, a static capacitor that means this is the static capacitor uh, synchronous condenser is nothing but a variable variable capacitor variable capacitor that means by varying the capacitor by varying the capacitor we can we, we can go into the synchronous condenser so by varying the this capacitor we can achieve the variable 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 pi angle and variable power factor so next method is phase advancer so phase advancer means so it can be used this is the one equipment this equipment can be used in induction motor so by placing the shaft shaft of the induction motor so we can improve the power factor okay thank you